Hello everyone, this is Saurabh from Edureka. Today we will learn how to install Puppet on a CentOS machine. Here are the steps to install Puppet. First we need to install Puppet Master and Puppet Agent. After that we'll edit the host and Puppet configuration file in both Puppet Master and Puppet Agent. Our third step is to generate certificate signing request from Puppet Agent and that certificate should be signed by the Puppet Master to establish secure connection between both Puppet Master and Puppet Agent. In the end, we'll look at a classic Puppet example in which I will deploy Apache Tomcat version 9 using Puppet. So let us proceed with the first step that is to install Puppet Master and Puppet Agent. As you can see that I'm using two virtual images, one for Puppet Master, another for Puppet Agent. I'll first install Puppet Master, so I'll go to the Puppet Master virtual image. This is my Puppet Master virtual image. Before we install Puppet Master, I need to delete all firewall rules. For that, I'll type IP tables hyphen F. Now I need to save it. I'll type service IP tables save. And here we go. IP tables is a default firewall present in most Linux distributions by default. Let me clear my terminal now. Now I need to enable official Puppet Lab Collection repository. So to get that repository, I'll open my browser and I'll go to this particular website that is yum.puppetlabs.com and over here you can see that there are repositories available for CentOS 5, 6 and 7. I'm using CentOS 6, so I'll copy the link location of this particular repository, copy it, I'll go back to my terminal and uh, I'll use rpm-ivh command and just paste the link over here and here we go now I will install Puppet Master for that I'll type yum install Puppet Server and here we go press Y it is now downloading packages So Puppet Master is now installed. Let me clear my terminal. Now I need to install Puppet Agent. For that I'll go to Puppet Agent virtual image. This is my Puppet Agent virtual image. Over here I need to first delete all firewall rules. For that I'll type IP tables hyphen F. Now I need to save it. Service IP tables save and here we go now I need to enable the official puppet lab collection repository as I've done it in my master so I'll just paste the same command I'll just paste it here and here we go now I need to install puppet agent for that I'll type yum install puppet and here we go It is now downloading packages. So Puppet Agent is now installed. Let me clear my terminal. So our first step is complete, that is to install Puppet Master and Puppet Agent. Now we need to edit the host and Puppet configuration files in both Puppet Master and Puppet Agent. I'll do that first in Puppet Master, so let us proceed towards the Puppet Master virtual image. First I need to edit the host file, but before that I need the IP address of this particular machine. To get that I'll type if config and it will display the IP address. Just copy it. Now I will edit the host file, for that I'll use VI editor, etc host and here we go. Here what I'll do is, I'll first paste the IP address that I've copied and I'll give a name to it, puppet.edureka.co. So what I've done here is, I've assigned a domain name puppet.edureka.co to the IP address 192.168.1.182 alright so let us just save it and quit now I'll clear my terminal 
Now I need to edit the Puppet configuration file. For that again, I'll use VI Editor, VI Etsy, Puppet, Puppet.conf, and here we go. As you can see that there are two sections, one is main, another is agent, and in the main section, I need to set up a DNS name to which the server will respond. DNS is a useful element in order to allow nodes to communicate with friendly names rather than using IP addresses. For that, I'll type DNS alt names equal to puppet. Server name is puppet, so obviously it is going to respond to puppet dot edureka.co now I need to add a certificate name as well for that I'll type cert name puppet save it and quit let me clear my terminal now I can start puppet master so let us type command for it service puppet master start and here we go so puppet master has now started let me clear my terminal now I'll edit the host and puppet configuration file of puppet agent. So I'll go to puppet agent virtual image. Now to edit the host file, I need the IP address of this machine. For that I'll use if config command to display the IP address. Just copy it. Now I'll use a VI editor to edit the host file. VI etsy host and here we go. Over here also I'll paste the IP address that I've copied and I'll give a name to it. I'll just type puppet agent whatever name you find suitable just proceed with that. So over here this particular IP address that is 192.168.1.119 I've assigned a domain name puppet agent. Over here also I need to specify the IP address and the domain name of my puppet master. So now I'll type the IP address of my puppet master. 192.168.1.182 and the domain name I'll just write puppet puppet.edureka.co now save it and quit let me clear my terminal now I need to edit the puppet configuration file for that I'll use vi editor again and I'll type etsy puppet puppet.conf and here we go as you can see here also there are two sections one is main another is agent so in the agent section I need to specify the server name for that I'll type server equal to the domain name of your puppet master which is puppet.edureka.co in this case you can write the IP address also of your puppet master but I'll just proceed with this domain name only and this is a very important step because when I give server name it will go to the host file and will check the IP address over there. So just make sure you have typed the correct domain name. Now just save it and quit. Let me clear my terminal. Now I need to start puppet agent for that I'll type service puppet start and here we go. So it has started successfully. Let me clear my terminal. So our second step is complete. That is to edit the host and puppet configuration files in both puppet master and in puppet agent. Our third step is to generate certificate signing request from puppet agent. And this certificate has to be signed by puppet master in order to establish secure connection between puppet master and puppet agent. For that I'll first go to my puppet master virtual image. Over here I need to first stop my puppet master. For that I'll type service puppet master stop and here we go now I'll type a command sudo hyphen u puppet puppet master hyphen hyphen no hyphen demonize hyphen hyphen verbose this command will create the CA certificate and the puppet master certificate with the appropriate DNS names included. Here we go. The moment you see the version of Puppet, you need to stop it right there by pressing Ctrl C because we cannot start the Puppet Master right now. So we need to stop it right now as Puppet Master version is displayed. Let me clear my terminal. Now I need to start this Puppet Master. For that I'll type Puppet Resource Service puppet master 
ensure running and here we go puppet master is now running just to confirm that I'll type service puppet master status so it is now running successfully let me clear my terminal now I need to go back to my puppet agent virtual image over here I'll first stop this puppet agent so I'll type service puppet stop and here we go now I will type a command puppet agent hyphen T this command will generate a certificate signing request for puppet master and here we go Let me clear my terminal now I'll go back to my puppet master virtual image now if you want to see the certificates that are available in puppet master I'll type puppet cert list and it will display the certificate for me so there's a certificate signing request that has been sent by puppet agent we need to sign this certificate for that I'll type puppet cert sign and the name of the certificate that is puppet agent and here we go so we have successfully signed the certificate that was requested by puppet agent let me clear my terminal now now I'll go back to my puppet agent virtual image now over here I need to start this puppet agent for that I'll type puppet resource service puppet ensure running here we go puppet agent is now running just to confirm that I'll type service puppet status and here we go so puppet is now running successfully now to check that the correct certificate has been signed by the puppet master I use fingerprint command let me show you how to do that puppet agent hyphen hyphen fingerprint and here we go so over here you need to match this particular fingerprint with the certificate that has been signed by the puppet master in this case it is the correct certificate that has been signed so let me clear my terminal now I will run a command puppet agent hyphen T this command will update the agent with the changes made in the puppet master and as master has recently signed the certificate so it will update that I'll clear my terminal now now a third step is complete that is to generate a certificate signing request from puppet agent and that certificate has to be signed by puppet master finally we'll now look at a classic puppet example in which I'll deploy Apache Tomcat version 9 using puppet for that I'll first go to my master virtual image to install Apache Tomcat version 9 I need to first install Java 8 as Apache Tomcat version 9 is only compatible with Java 8 or versions of Java that has been released after Java 8 now to install Java I need to first install Java module this Java module will automatically install Java JDK and simplifies the installation of Java using puppet so let us proceed towards the installation of Java module for that I'll type puppet module install puppet labs hyphen Java and here we go so Java module is now installed let me clear my terminal now I need to edit site.pp file present in the puppet manifest for that I'll use vi editor vi etsy puppet manifest site.pp and here we go over here I'll first define a class Java and now I'll define package Java 1.8.0 open JDK hyphen devel now close the braces now save it and quit let me clear my terminal now before installing Apache Tomcat version 9 I need the Tomcat module the Tomcat module allows you to use puppet to install Tomcat manage its configuration file and deploy web apps to it the Tomcat module requires puppet lab standard library version 4.0 or newer so if you follow these steps puppet lab standard library version 4.12 will automatically be installed 
So let us now install Tomcat module. For that, I'll type Puppet module install Puppet Labs hyphen Tomcat. And here we go. So Tomcat module is now installed. Let me clear my terminal. Now I need to edit site.pp file present in the Puppet manifest. For that, again, I'll use VI editor. VI etc puppet manifest site.pp and here we go. Over here I'll type tomcat install slash opt slash tomcat. Now I need to give the source URL. For that I'll type source underscore URL. And now I need the link of the tar file for Apache Tomcat version 9. So to get that, I'll open my browser and I'll go to this particular website that I'm highlighting with my cursor. Just scroll down and copy the link location for this particular tar file that I'm highlighting with my cursor. Just copy the link location, go back to the terminal and paste it here. Now close the braces. Now I'll define Tomcat instance. For that I'll type Tomcat instance. I'll give the default instance. So I'll type default Catalina underscore home slash opt slash Tomcat. Now close the braces. And just save it and quit. Here we go. Now let me clear my terminal. Now I'll go back to my Puppet Agent virtual image. Over here I'll type Puppet Agent hyphen T. This command will update the changes made in Puppet manifest. So here we go. So it is done now. Let me clear my terminal. Now I'll go to port 8080 which is the default port for Apache Tomcat. Let me first open my browser and over here I'll type localhost 8080 and here we go. As you can see the Tomcat is working on port 8080 that means we have successfully installed Apache Tomcat version 9 using Puppet. Now our fourth and final step is complete that is to deploy Apache Tomcat version 9 using Puppet. Thank you for watching this video. You can comment your queries and questions. Do subscribe to our Edureka channel to learn more. Thank you and happy learning.